What's up, y'all? How y'all doing today? I just wanted to take the time and say that I appreciate the love still on that, like, because we're still, we're y'all still viewing that Mario Madness mod. I think we're up to like almost 3K. Hold on, let me let me check before I say anything that I that I don't want to change later. We're up to freaking 3.5K views. Bro, y'all are loving it. And so am I. I love the support. I just wish I would do that for all my videos. I really wish. But enough of that. We're here for a different reason. I just want to say thank you. But I left y'all with a cliffhanger on Find Love or Die, tr die Trying the last time. We're getting juicy. We're, we're getting juicy. It is getting to the final moments. But let past Sean go and show you about what that is. It all ends tomorrow. Wait, how do you save this shit? Wait. Do they not give us... They don't give us a chance to save anymore. I forgot how to save. I thought it would... We have to keep going. We're, no. Home stretch. Pretty good, pretty good. I'm excited to see how a day with Allie would be. Oh, you've got a real surprise in store. She has all of us in the crew working extra hard to prepare a special date for you. And by all of us in the crew, I mean Brothers 5. How'd you go? How about you go find her? Spend some time together while we get things set up for you. Sounds like a plan, Cat. Let's see. Oh, looks like she's by the beach. Guess that's where I'm headed. I can't save it, so I'm, I'm going through with it. Don't do anything we can't air. Murder's okay. But God forbid someone takes their top off. Murder's okay, but if someone takes their top off, then that's a problem. How did, That shit don't make no sense. It don't make no sense. I waved the cat as I went on my way. Just as Cat said, Allie was by the beach. She was looking out at the ocean. Good morning, Allie. Sean, it's always nice to see you. The difference between Allie's voice during the day and night was like day and night. <laughs> What? I guess we do have to worry about the cameras, but still, it takes some getting used to. I know it's going to be tough to top your previous date with all the other girls, but I think I have a good spot. I'm looking forward to it. You better be. We've been saving the best for last. She reached for my hand. Walk with me? I reached for her outstretched hand. It'd be my pleasure. The two of us walked the beach for a while, getting to know each other. <laughs> so what will you be doing when the show is over? First thing I'm going to do is say hey to my family again and make them a nice dinner. I'm sure they're, they've gone sick with worry in the week that I've been gone. I wonder what they're thinking now. It's been at least two years since then. Cat was right. Sometimes not remembering is a blessing. Allie doesn't have that luxury. Anyway, I've got a surprise for you. Come on. She pulled me along by the hand into the forest. I have to say, Allie's really impressed me. Of course, it was her deliberate plan to come into the forest and get into the hangar, but she made it seem so spontaneous. You're going to love it. What? This music. I saw it the moment she did. It was all we. It was all we could do was stand and watch. No. She staggered and almost fell. And who could blame her? Oh. <gasps> The hangar was engulfed in warm flame. These bitches. Oh, I'm about to start crying, bro. I'm about to start crying. These motherfuckers knew we were about to take that plane. The heat was incredible. There was no way either of us could take another step towards the hangar without being burned alive. The stench of burning oil assaulted me without mercy. We were at a loss for words. And in front was all in front of all those flames was her walking away from the flames. S somehow, I just knew it was her. Cat? Yup. Sorry, Allie. Sean, there's been a small change of plans. I'm sure you could tell, but we've hit a few snags with the hangar. How about you two spend your day on the ground instead? Oh, these bitches know. She's trying her hardest trying to act like it was an accident. She knows. I want to scream. I want to attack her with every bone in my freaking body. I... Because I would want to attack her because she know what the hell she's doing, but we can't. But again, our plan will be messed up if we do that. Nope, can't do anything. I can't. I can't or I'll be killed. 
and not just me, but everyone else. To hold myself back from giving away what this plane meant to me took all the strength I've had. I need to calm down. Cat might be able to read my face and see that. Sounds fine to me, Cat. I'm just glad you're safe. What happened? We're still looking into it. Well, either way, there's nothing we could do about that. How about we go somewhere else, Sean? She reached my hand and held it tight. How could she smile like this at me? She's a great fucking actor. Dot, dot, dot. Of course, Allie. Look at her face. She know. I told you, she know what's up. For the rest of the day, Allie and I put on the performance of a lifetime. Though our faces were all smiles and laughter, we knew now more than ever that we were trapped in Cat's Macabre puppet show. And Cat loved to make us dance. She must have known we were trying to escape. But how? Did we make a mistake? Did Ford give us away? Should we ever have trusted him in the first place? Who can I trust now? Time is ticking, and the end of the show looms closer and closer. Maybe they've been watching us this whole time as we're talking amongst each other, maybe. This time I'm supposed to meet with the group. It's time I'm supposed to meet with the group. But what will we even do? There's no way we can escape. Our last chance died with the hangar. Should I just make a break for it? No, don't fucking do that. Nope, I never make it. And the others will suffer from my mistake. What do I do? You don't look so good, Sean. Yeah, I, I'm glad you. I'm glad you could fucking notice. I, what do you want? That's what I really want to say. Ooh, I can't make these choices. I've been better, cat. It hasn't exactly been sunshine and rainbows today. You aren't. You really aren't much for acting, are you, Sean? Look. Shoot. I already know about you and your plan to escape. Oh, fucking shit. No, why am I acting so surprised? I knew she knew. That's why she did that to the plane. How the fuck did she know, though? My blood ran cold. You know, take the plane, fly away from here. It wasn't hard to figure out. I tried to say something in my defense, but my voice wouldn't come out. It was <laughs> it was all I could do to stand wide-eyed. I know you and I know you and the others found the lab. Got your memories back. Well, at least the others did. And I know that every night you all work together to try to find a way out. How the fuck did she know that? I thought Ford disabled the fucking cameras and shit. I mean, of course I know. I'm the reason why you got this far. <laughs> what? So you're telling me she's been helping us? Ain't no way, bro. She's been playing the act too? How are you the reason? So you gave us the keys and all we just had to do was take it? Hold on. What do you mean? Just follow me. You'll save all of us time. What the fuck? We walked to the locked room near the games room. She took out her master key and span it around. You never really thought a bunny could make a take You never really thought a bunny could take a key from you, right? Ah, uh, she knew from then. Honestly, I don't know what to believe anymore. She opened the door. And they <laughs> they all surprised like uh, the others were inside, looking as surprised as I was. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you right now, cat. How about two? First, your inside man was never four. It was me. <laughs> yo, this story's getting... This is juicy, yo. I, yeah, this is so juicy. I mean, come on. He wouldn't be smart enough for something like this. Second, you only ever had a chance of escaping this island because of me. Newsflash, Allie. Those takes never just bug out. Which is why, which is why I thought it was weird at first. Because it's like, how did that happen? That's like a one in a million thing. But she knew about Allie and what she was planning. See, Kat is... She's smart. Maybe she did all this to help us out. But well, what? Well, maybe she did all that in the beginning, like, turn on us, so she could eventually try to get us out. Maybe she had a plan on all this to get us out in the first place, but she just didn't know how it'd be done. She wanted us to figure it out first. I don't know. You're the one who let me out of my tank. The one and only. Yo, don't, don't try your shit right now. Allie was at a loss for words, and I was no different. What do you want, Cat? Honestly, the same thing as you guys. Oh, she wants to leave her too. I told. Her. She did say this is this is a shitty place to be in. I went off. I went off this crazy train. I went out. 
I want you guys to include me in your little escape plan. What? D what? Do I have something on my face? As hard as it is for Lee, the list of people who want to stay on this island is pretty short. Hell no! We can't even trust you, Cat. I'm not sure how, but, but I remember. I remember I tried to escape with you before. I trusted you. I even fell for you. Even five girls isn't enough. Unbelievable. <laughs> Shut up, Allie. Not the time. Not the time. And then you betrayed me. And shot me. There's no way we could ever trust you. You're just going to stab us in the back. Is that true, Cat? I'm ashamed to say it is. But I didn't have a choice. I figured she would say some shit like that. You know how it is with Damien. It doesn't matter if you share the same blood. He'll take the people you love hostage and use them to force you to dance to his tune. I don't know if I can believe that though. On one hand, you could be right. On the other hand, you could be just doing this. You could be doing this to uh, screw us over. I'm sorry I betrayed you, Sean. I really am. But if I had to do it again, I'd do it again in a heartbeat because there was someone I needed to save. I know I must look like, like a villain to you, but believe me, I have people I care about too. If you're so compassionate, how come you burn up our only way out of here? Yeah, explain that shit. You're lucky I did, Sean. If you actually flown as planned, you'd all be at the bottom of the ocean right now. What do you mean? It's a cruel trick of Damien's. He knew there was a chance that people on this show would recover their memories and try to escape. So he made us build the hangar and the plane. It's the only... It's the one place anyone trying to escape would go. Exactly. I've told you in the past, Allie, never fly that plane or take the boat out of sight of this island. If you did, you would have blown up like fireworks. That's why she told us never to... I thought it was because they were watching us, but no. That Allie and I were in that plane, which was a little more than a flying death trap, sent a chill down my spine. Look, the simple reality is you need me to escape. Without me, you won't even make it past the barrier. What barrier? Exactly. See, you didn't even know that shit. And though I hate it, I need you guys to help me and my... Us. Escape. Us. She reached her hand towards me for a handshake. Allies? Let's discuss first. Oh, she was handshake. She was putting her hand for a handshake. Like, like, do you trust me? Like, let's discuss first. Okay, okay, let's discuss this, y'all. Cat leaned against the wall while the rest of us debate on what to do. Can we really trust her? This just might be another trap. Which is true. I, I kind of think that too. It's not like it'd be the first time. It's not like it'd be the first buy you fall. She says it's wrong. It's not the first time you fell for her. That's what she's trying to say. You're right. That said, it's not like we have much to lose at this point. Even if she'd done horrible things to us in the past, we still need her to escape. Dot, dot, dot. Oh, Allie doesn't seem so sure. You all right, Allie? I I'm fine. I'm just angry at myself. Hey, don't beat yourself about it. We're still alive. That's what counts. She's right, you know. I I'm not so sure how I'm feeling right now either, but we are alive. That counts for something. You're right, Sean. As much as I hate to say it, I think we'll need Kat's help. Trustworthy or not, if we want to stay that way. We have to trust her. But we'll need to keep an eye on her. That's what I'm going to say, because... But we'll need to keep an eye on her. I couldn't say it better myself, because, like I said... She might help us, but it might be another trap. Alright, Cat. If you want our help, you're going to need to answer a few questions. Wait, is she coming back? Ask away. Wait, how does she know that Damien is not listening, though? I'm so confused. What the hell is this sick show for? And why have you been forcing us to repeat it over and over? As someone from the Resistance, it should be obvious to you. She knows she's from the Resistance? I didn't know she knew that much about her. This is just one of hundreds of killing shows we air. Shows that keep people scared. That keep people from organizing against the government. You want to paralyze people with fear? You broadcast exactly what will happen to you if you rise up. You're monsters. You know that? I don't disagree with you. 
But we're not in charge here. Some of us still have family to lose, Allie. Continue. Before, before we air each show, we test them internally on test audiences to see what kind of ratings they'll bring for the fortunate and what kind of despair they bring for the less fortunate. If they test it well enough, we'd air it, but it wasn't efficient. But we couldn't just film a killing show over and over again to see which version of it rated best. You can't bring back people from the dead. It was the same for the test audiences. You couldn't just make them watch multiple versions of a show as they remember previous versions that would influence their opinions. There was no way to test multiple versions of a show without losing, excuse, excuse me, oh, without losing the feeling of lives that were really in danger. But my, my, the memory rewriter would have changed that. It did. We were able to reuse everybody. Our volunteer actors, the test audiences. Since we could just make people forget what happened, we could film run and run after the show. Where each of it as if it was the first time to tell all of you. And that's exactly what we've been doing here for the last two years. It was a lot to hear. I had a feeling, but to know that people looked at us like we were nothing but lab rats. While I was generally afraid for my life, it's sickening. We were silent for a while. If you've been testing on the show this long, what's when's the real thing? There is no real thing. It's only what version tests the best. That said, there's only so much time Damien is willing to spend on the show, and that time is almost up. This is the last run of the show. If you don't escape before the end, you're all as good as dead. This time for real. I know Damien and I said that we let you and your chosen partner go if you achieve good if you achieve good enough reading, but it's a lie, isn't it? Yeah. I'm sorry I waited this long to try to help you guys. I've been too scared to risk it all. But I have nothing left to lose now. She extended her hand to me for a handshake. Allies? At least until we're out of here? I don't really have a choice this time either, do I? If you wanted to, you could report us right now. That's true. And my word would count for more than all of yours. But that wouldn't save the person I needed to. Like it or not, we have to work together. Then it's a deal. Allie shook Kat's hand. Kat, are you sure you don't want to... I'm fine, Scarlet. It's, it's not important anymore. And we don't have time to waste. If you say so. Anyway... The only time we can escape is the last day of the show, between midnight and just before the sun goes up. That's when the boat comes to welcome the newly engaged couple, and that's the way off the island, of, off this island alive. It also doubles as a supply ship. We use it to replenish between each run of the show. Are there no other planes on this island? A boat will be far slower. Unfortunately, it's not so easy. There's a protective shell around the island, which performs two functions. First, it renders us invisible to satellite. It's the reason your people couldn't find us, Allie. Second, if anything bigger than a human being tries to get in or outside the barrier, it'll get fried, unless it's emanating a compatible IFF signal. I said emanating, emanating. The only way off the island that will have the signal is a boat. I'm betting it'll be heavily guarded, though. Well, yes, but not, not from people on it. The ship itself will be run by a skeleton crew. It's the staff on the island who we have to watch out for. That still leaves a question on how we'll deal with them. Last time I checked, there's hundreds of them. And not even ten of us. Actually, it might not be so hard after all. I've got a plan that might just work. Though I have to admit, it is a little crazy. I like the sound of that though. If it involves zombies again, I'm out. You explain our plan to us with a renewed confidence new confidence that would inspire anyone to believe. Luckily, we still have tomorrow, so that's just we have just the amount of time we need. That might just work, Yui. You're a mad genius. Let's just say I've been holding back my creativity until now. Okay, what is everybody hiding some shit because holding back? It's crazier than anything I'd imagine, and crazy enough to work. Let's get to work. Wait. Were we even listening to the same plan? I hope so. The other went their separate ways to help prepare for Yui's plan. We're stuck here with her. 
but Cat stayed. Our business wasn't finished just yet. What's up? What's your game? That's what I should say. You know what? What's your game? I want to trust you, Cat. I really do. But you're up to something, aren't you? Just like every other time I trusted you. I can't blame you for feeling that way. And I can't take back for what I've done before. The only thing I could say to try to make you trust me is that we both have people we care about, Sean. And that if you don't escape, then the person I care about will go down with you. I'm not asking you to put your neck out for me. You'll never have to. I'm just asking you to help somebody that you've never met and you never will. Somebody innocent. It's strange. The woman has put me through hell, treat me like a lab rat, and more. And yet, somehow I think she's, she is telling the truth. Honestly, it doesn't matter if you do trust me. You'll see tomorrow that I'm going along with Yui's plan either way. I'll trust you, Cat, for now. I'm sorry for yelling at you earlier. Don't be. I literally shot you. I think that earns you the right to be angry and more, no? We... Well, I've gotten to know you over these past years. Not, not for more than a couple weeks straight, but I got to know you. And I think you're rude, manipulative, and have no problem lying to my face. Hey, can we tip to the part where you compliment me? <laughs> I can't even say. You're also incredibly crass. You keep secrets from everybody, and you finished. But I, I don't think you're a bad person. Every time the show ran, you always talked to me to make me feel like I wasn't alone. And I, you made sure I never lost hope. I know that was never part of the job. You didn't have to do that. Yet you did it over and over. It must have been so tiring to do that over and over, full well knowing that we were doomed. I don't know why you're doing all this, but I do believe you care about helping people. I'm flattered, Sean, but you've got me wrong. What do you mean? Wait, everything I've ever done for you, the others, has been for my own selfish reasons. Huh? It just happens to line up nicely. Okay, then fuck you then. <laughs> Though I do appreciate the compliment. Unlike before, I couldn't tell if she was telling the truth. I don't know if I like this. We went our separate ways shortly after. I spent the rest of the night helping the others preparing with the plan. I was exhausted when I went back to my room, but I still couldn't fall asleep for several hours. As if something was on the tip of my tongue, but I just barely couldn't grasp it. Yet somehow, I know I'm closer than I've ever been. Yeah, this is something else. Yeah, I'm not stopping it. This, it it's, it's three hours now. We might as well keep, we might as well keep going to the end. Cat was true to her word. Instead of having another date on the sixth day of the show, she planned a huge party for the staff instead. A thank you for all your hard work party. As soon as she stole her staff that Violet would be cooking for the event, all of them dropped everything and helped prepare for it. While the staff prepared the party grounds during the day, each of us were hard at work, making sure other parts of it went well. Violet cooked mountains of food as her life depended on it. But in truth, it did. Yu was playing games with the staff outside. It didn't take long for her to become a fast favorite for them. I'm pretty sure half of the staff were, were playing the game just so they could get her, get her to notice them, and she knew it. I have to admit, I'm really impressed by Yui. Her plan is really coming together. Tara and Scarlet joined forces to make sure all the staff joined the, the festivities. Cat used Cat Producer Room to find any stragglers who hadn't joined the festivities. As Tara found them one by one, Scarlet turned on the charm and made sure that they came with her to the party. <laughs> and then when it was time for Scarlet to switch to her other mission, Allie took over. Though I'm told she employed more force than charm. Meanwhile, I ran around like a chicken with his head cut off, trying to make sure every part of our plan was going smoothly. And for once, it did. Is everybody here? Yep, everybody's here. A few hours later, we had every staff member on the island partying their lights out. Everybody's here? You bet. You should have seen the ones that tried to run. I made sure everyone who came stayed too. Perfect. Everybody's eating? As they should have. It is fine food. Looks like it's all going according to plan. I'm just going to go ahead and get to the fun part. Scar pulled out a remote from her pocket and pressed a button on it. A few seconds later, fireworks were shooting into the night sky above the party grounds. 
the cheer of the staff were like thunder. And with that, the plan is going as smoothly as it can be. Great job, team. We owe you one, Yui. Right back at you, Allie. We cheered as firework at the firework lit up the night sky. Whoa! Are fireworks supposed to be this bright? Come to think of it, these fireworks are practically blinding. I have to say, I did a pretty good job with these fireworks. Though there might be some side effects to watching them from so close. Hmm. Let's worry about that later. These fireworks were the signal to those trying to escape. There was nothing left to do except wait. It's going to be a long night. I know what we said before, but it'd be such a shame to spend tonight just worrying over what might happen tomorrow. We might live, we might die, same as any other day. How about instead, we just dance the night away? You know what? That sounds great. That sounds lovely. Let's do it. Come on, let's dance like there's no tomorrow. Yuck. Don't be like that, Tara. It'd be good for us to blow off some steam. Dancing sounds like exercise. And exercise... Allie picked up Tara over her shoulder. And away we go! Yo, Allie is something else. Come on, come on! Scarlet grabbed my hand and pulled me with her to where people were dancing. The others followed close behind. Okay, they're all... They sure are carefree, huh? Some things never change. What the hell does that mean? Maybe we'll get out of here tomorrow. Maybe we won't. I hope we do, though. I like to think that one day, we'll look back and remember this day. It was the most fun I've ever had. Out of the nights I could remember anyway. We lived like there was no tomorrow. And now, we'll find out if there is a tomorrow for us. I don't like that she said that. Oh, they sure are carefree. Something's never changed. Like, like she's planning some shit. We waited in the darkness for hours, waiting for the boat to come. The plan was simple, yet had no room for error. First, we need to make sure the, the boat really is coming. It's later than usual. You think they're on to us? No. It'll be just a bit longer. It's cold. There's no point in worrying at this point. If they're on to us now, then we're already dead. All we can do is wait. Dot, dot, dot. We waited an hour more, then another, then another. We were losing hope. Dot, dot, dot. I guess we're... It's here! Cat pointed towards the ocean. We all looked in unison. Just as she said, the boat was coming. It looked huge, despite how far it was. It must be massive from up close. Alright, it's only gonna be a few minutes before it reaches the shore. Let's book it to the mansion. Second, we need to get back to the mansion before the boat reaches the shore. From what Cat told us, the staff will physically inspect the mansion to make sure we're there. We can't rely on over overriding the feeds. If we're not there, they'll sound the alarm, and our chance of escaping will go from slim to nil, which means none. According to Cat, it's how I got caught last time. Oh. Okay. Makes sense now. We made it back to the mansion and rushed to our respective rooms. I turned off the light, then jumped to the bed pretended to be asleep. A few moments later, I heard the sound of somebody opening the door. It must be them. There was a mechanical rhythm to it. Footsteps, a door would open, more footsteps, a short pause, footsteps again, a door would close, repeat, over and over, closer and closer, until it got to my room. I tried my best to make my breathing sound natural. Breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, footsteps. A second later, my door opens. I can tell there's probably about five people. Breathe in, they're walking closer to me. Breathe out. I can tell two of them are right in front of me. They're muttering something under, under their breath. You have to pity her. Come on, she could do better. Rude. If they're talking about me, who, who could do better? Because now I'm, I'm not so sure. I, I don't know. I, I, I'm kind of confused now on what the hell... Hey, something's wrong. It feels like my heart stopped. Breathe out. They're moving closer to me, step by step. What's that? Breathe in. I, I think. It takes everything I have not to move. 
and every nerve in my body screams to run. Dun, dun, dun. This is it. They're on to me. I can't help but ball up the fist of my hand. I... Never mind. We're done for the night. Let's head out. Sounds good to me. I heard them walk further away from me, then outside the room. Finally, they closed the door. I breathed out like never before. On to the next part of the plan. I don't know how they did. They probably fared better than I did. We were grouped upstairs. That wasn't so difficult, was it? Like taking candy from a baby. Wait, where's Tara? I'll go check on her. As on cue, Tara came running down the stairs. I'm good. <laughs> don't worry about it. And I definitely didn't fall asleep just now. I didn't buy it, and the rest of us didn't either. Alright, back to the problem at hand. We may have avoided detection for now, but now there's going to be upwards of 100 guards on patrol between here and the boat. There's little to no chance we can all make it out of here without being seen, but it's a chance we'll have to take. Actually, we had just the thing for that, courtesy of Scarlet and I. What's that? We went through all the trouble of preparing such a big party for all the staff. It'd be a shame if we didn't give him a little extra to chew on, no? You didn't! Oh, she did. It was like an absurd scene from an art house movie gone mad. Wait, what, what, what did they do, though? Oh my gosh. They did this shit again. Bananas. Brains and bananas. Give me brain. Accounting. Should have built. Hundreds of zombies looted the field. So they poisoned that shit. But how does that help us get out of here? You know, I can't I can't believe we ever let you make shit, Scarlet. You better be glad that you did. Now that I think about it, what oh my gosh, what I keep doing that shit. Where's the fun in that? Well, we still have to go past them and get to the boat, right? Don't worry about it. I've got a fair share of experience of taking down zombies. Something about that rubs me the wrong way. Don't worry about it. Let's be on our way. We managed to seek out the ninja without much of a fuss. As soon as we got to the forest, it was smooth sailing. There were just a few zombies in there. To be honest, how much Scarlet enjoyed herself taking them down was more concerning. I'll worry about that when we get off this island. For now, I'll focus on getting out of here. A few moments later, we made it to the beach. That boat was clear in sight. Wow, it's huge. Let's not waste any time, though. We rushed onto the ship and ran straight for the captain's deck. You guys wait here. It's practically guaranteed that the engine's been tampered with, and I need to fix it. If I know my father, he'd do it just the way it was last time. You know what, Sean? Come with me just in case. Maybe that's where the crew members are. Lead the way. Why she want me to come with her, though? It was pitched back inside. Cat had, a sh had to shine a light to see anything. Strange. Where are they? Well, let's not look a gift horse in, their ma in the mouth. Found it! I don't even know what that meant. Chalk it up to Dad out, out sourcing everything to the grunts. This is child's play to me now. Cat got to work the fixing the machine. Watch my back. We still don't know if we're in the clear, and this is going to take a minute. Got it. I turned around and kept a lookout. It was almost impossible to see anything now. Since when are you a mechanic? Honestly, since my first failed escape. I had to teach myself. There isn't exactly a trade school on this island. If I hadn't, I'd never be able to help anybody escape this island. I'm sorry I didn't trust you before, Cat. I, I get it now. Why you did what you had to do. Keep talking like that, you'll raise a red flag for both of us, jeez! We can talk more later, if you like. In the meantime, this boat is fixed. Nice! Let's tell the others and get the hell out of here. I feel like something's gonna go wrong, still. Like, this seems too hopeful. We ran back to the others and told them the good news. At the same tap, time, Cat revved up the engine of the boat. We were good to go. We literally jumped for jo joy as the boat started to move. Gosh, I can't believe it. We really are, we're really doing this. We're finally getting out of here. Which is hard to believe, but it's true. We did it. Now, now, you don't have to thank me all at once. We really did. Thank you, Cat. You really saved us. We did. We wouldn't be able to get to this point if it weren't for you. There's no need to thank me. 
I actually should apologize that I didn't do any of this sooner. I, the intercom rang out. Oh shoot, oh boy. Cat turned white as a sheep when we heard a voice that was all too familiar. No, damn it, Damien. Ding, ding, ding. I guess you learned at least something in school, Cat. Not enough, clearly. But hey, it's something. That's got to win the participation ribbon somewhere. You knew what I was planning. Of course I did, dearie. I made you. I know exactly how you think. And I have to thank you. Your mother will be proud of the show you've given us the past two years. What? Oh, I'm sorry. Did I forget to tell you? While you were busy filming Sean and these other bitches. <laughs> bitches? My team was filming your brave attempts to save these idiots. Gives the audience a little more reason for why you sh they should stay in line, you know? After all, if I do this to my own daughter, imagine what I'd do to someone who wasn't. You're a monster! Flattery will get you nowhere, Kit Kat. <laughs> Flattery will get you nowhere, Kit Kat. Well, it doesn't matter now. Do whatever the hell you want. We're getting out of here. We fixed the boat, and there's nothing you could do to stop us now. We're getting out of here. Saying garbage like that, it's like playing with fire, love. The earth started to shake, even though we were on the boat. I could tell the island was rebelling. In the distance, a metal barrier slowly rose out of the ocean, all around the island. It climbed higher and higher, till it cast a shadow over the boat. Higher and higher, till, only, till the only daylight we could see was just from the circle above us. We were trapped. How about we play a game, little rats? Damien spoke down to us for some kind of holographic screening on the walls. He gestured to some kind of machine behind him in what looked like a strange kind of stadium. I've got myself a little switch up here that controls the barrier. One push of this and you'll be free to go. It'd be easy for you to waltz in and flip it. You've gotten rid of all your security. But this switch is only going to work if you have two people's handprints with producer level clearance. Sure, you got cat, but you'll never be able to get mine. He pulled out the same gun I've been shot with before. So don't let that stop you from trying. <laughs> the hologram disappeared with a click, leaving us in an uneasy silence. Our hands are tied. We've got no choice but to go back. Hello, he's got a gun. He'd take us all down before we had a chance to grab him. We've got no choice though. If we wait here, it's only a matter of time before they can send people after us. I guess we have to head back to the beach. Let's turn this around. We got an ass to kick. No. That's exactly what Damien wants you to do. The turning around part or the ass kicking? I'll leave that one to your imagination. Damien has a script that he wants to see play out. People try to revolt, fail, and get killed. I guarantee you, if we do just that, he has a plan for it. He'll find some way to turn us against each other. Then none of us will be making it out of here alive. Even so, we can't just stay here and wait until we're out of time. Sean and I will go flip the switch. Why me, bro? Why you gotta bring... I'm like the least skilled person. <laughs> Besides, we're the only two people here who can do anything about it. I thought I was the least skilled person. Huh? What do you mean by that? I thought that only you and Damien... I'll explain on the way. There's no time. Sean, are you ready to run? I won't allow it. There's no way we're letting Sean go back there without us. You said it, sister. I'm not letting you lose. I'm not letting you lose all your one chance of getting out of here. Scarlet, please. You know exactly what Damien is capable of. I don't like this cat. I know. Let them go. Believe me, I hate this. I hate this to my core. But cat's right. Huh? Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're all confused. Cat didn't waste a moment. She reached for my hand. Yeah, I'm confused. Tell me something, Cat. Why am I the only? Why am I the one that could do this? Before I knew what I was doing, we ran off the boat together and back to the mansion as fast as we could. I was running on pure instinct, like my body had done be done this before, countless times. Are you telling me we tried to do this shit before? I know we did this show a million times, a countless times, but not this. I looked back to the boat just once, but couldn't help but linger for a moment. I could tell from their faces that they wanted to be running with me, not waiting for us to come back. 
I'm gonna make Damien pay for making him suffer like this. We went back to running. I followed Kat's lead. It's earlier than I planned, but there's no time like the present for exposition about your past. You'd be good to it'd be good to know why I'm running with you. Yeah, it would be. Would I happen to be resistant to bullets? Like, is this the Matrix around here? We'll find out if you are together. Don't make jokes like that. Please, not the time. Though if you look at your history, I'd say no. Yeah, because I got shot. Hey, I survived the time you shot me. I'm pretty resilient, resistant. Touche. Before you came on to the show, you were a producer just like me. What? What? Is that why they didn't have no files on me? Because I was just like them? Which makes, oh my gosh. Now it makes sense why she could run, I could run with her. He said, we need two producer level. And I used to be one, so they still had my prints. Oh shoot. We, we used to work together. We were partners. Okay, so I thought it was just them doing the show, but now it's more than I even imagined. How did I get to, wait, how did I get from being a partner and a producer on the, sh on the same show to now being the, su the, the suitor? In more ways than one, though. That was forever ago. Wait. Living and working on this island was the only I life I'd ever known. It sounds awful, but I didn't have a problem with running these shows. There was nothing different I to compare it to. But then I met you. I got no idea what would bring someone like you to this island, but you... Meeting you changed me. She smiled like I'd never seen before. You made me see that there was a world out there that was beautiful. You made me hope that I could be a part of the world one day. And you helped me realize that we needed to shut this place down if we wanted there to be the world out there at all. For years, we worked together to free as many people as we could from these death trap shows. We chipped them away to safety, faked their deaths, and everything. We did just that for a time. Oh my gosh, we're more skilled than we thought we were. Then Damien started to suspect something was up. Each day he got closer and closer to figuring out until I knew we couldn't stay any longer. But then it was too late by then. Damien caught us. But you mean you betrayed me. I can't remember much, but I remember you and I, we were together. And then you sold me out right when we were trying to escape. Why? It's like I said before, I didn't have a choice and I still don't. I know you have no reason to trust me no more, anymore, and I don't expect you to. But we need each other's help to get off this island now. Since both of us are technically still producers, we can activate the switch if we work together. We don't even have to take Damien down, though I doubt he'd let us use it that easily. Can you trust me enough for that? Honestly, I don't even know. A part of me wants to trust Cat, the same part that unconsciously remembers what I did for years for years and years. But how can I forget that betrayal? Even if she had her reasons. Sure. I'm gonna keep an eye on her though. When we got back to the mansion, Cat made a beeline for the lad. I ran with her as fast as I could. Our footsteps were whining on the winding metal staircase echoed like a thundering drum. Oh boy. You're about to see the real reason why the show is on this island. Cat took out her master key and slid it into a hidden socket in a wall behind one of the tanks. Click. Don't say I didn't warn you. The same wall split into two doors, slowly showing, revealing another hidden staircase. What the fuck? You think you guys could get an elevator instead? I said the same thing. As soon as I took one step down the staircase, I could tell something was different. Something was telling me that I shouldn't go down there. Come on, we don't have time to waste. I've got nothing to lose, though. With each step down, it grew darker and darker. Eventually, I couldn't even see my hand in front of my face. Then, it was light. Blinding light. And... Applause? Welcome, welcome. We finally made it. What the fuck are we at? Damien's face was plastered over a countless screen in a stadium that could fill ten thousand, tens of thousands of people. Countless cameras litter, littered the seats, all focused on the center stage. A battleground sprawling with maze, like walls of all shapes and sizes. Littered with guns. Thanks to the walls, we couldn't see Damien directly, 
and we knew he was here from the screen. We wouldn't have a show with you. We wouldn't have a show with you idiots. So I'm glad you actually came back. Oh man, you couldn't even bring back the others. You're no fun. You really just gonna have to. You're really gonna make me work, huh? Anyway, congrats on making this far, etc., etc. I gotta say, I'm proud of you for making it here, daughter of mine. I'm impressed that you remembered your old haunt from just a few seconds of video. No thanks to you, dirtbag. Is there any way to thank someone who gives you room and board? You gave Sean a way nicer room than I ever got. Blame your mom for that one, kid. Anyway, how about you be a deer and explain the game we've got going on here? The switch we're looking for is somewhere here. The problem is, so is Damien. And he's got a gun and more ammunition than he needs to kill both of us. What about the weapons on the ground? Maybe there's something we can use to level the playing field. It's all we can do, but the odds are in our favor. Most of the weapons laying here are useless. They were meant to make people lose hope that they could fly back. Most is better than all of them, at least. Well, yes and no. There's no hope to lose if we knew all of them were fake. That's Damien's M.O. He'll give the people trapped in the shows just enough hope for escape. And then he'll use that to trap you. Real guns among the fakes. Bolts and planes when you're trapped on the island. If we're gonna make it through this, you can't fall for his game. Understand? Loud and clear. Then let's go. There's no time to waste. Oh boy. We ran from wall to wall, taking cover between each time. Whenever we had the chance, we'd pick up what looked like a gun and see if it was real. Uh-oh. We only had seconds to check for one. Damien was hot on our tail. A gunshot rang out, blowing a hole through the, through the wall Cat and I were hiding behind. What's the matter? You're like two rats in a lab. We fired again. Sharp enough from the wall straight my arm. Fuck! It was like my arm had been lit on fire. Sean, are you okay? I'll live, don't worry. We'll need to find a weapon. And we need to find a switch. We ran behind another wall, narrowly dodging another shot from Damien. It dawned on me that he wasn't even trying to hit us. He was trying to make us scared. And it was working. But why? He's reloading, come on! We dashed out from behind a wall and ran past Damien, looking desperately for the switch and for any weapons we could find. I managed to pick up two pistols. The cat did the same. Damn, looks like they're fake too. How's yours looking? I took a look at the first one. Upon further expression, it was clear it was no more than a plastic toy. Oh my gosh, we're fucked. We're fucked. But the second one, cat realized the same second I did. It was real, with a single bullet loaded. All right, that's good. Let's. Uh oh, another shot rang out, blowing a hole in the wall just next to where my head was a second ago. Fuck! How come he gets that fucking hand cannon? The budget's got to go somewhere, I guess. Anyway, we've got the gun. That's probably the real one in the stadium. The only real one in the stadium. We need to find a switch now. Even with a gun, we're no match for him. Sounds good to me. We ran further through the stadium, opposite the entrance, until we were square in the middle of the stadium. And there it was. The switch! You'd think they would have hit it better. Damien's laughter echoed through the arena as he reappeared on the screens above the arena. Uh oh. Congrats! You found the switch. It's a damn shame. I forgot to mention something about this switch here. It won't do jack shit, even if you both have access, as long as I've got a heartbeat. And I plan on sticking around. But I'm not heartless. In fact, I think I'm a pretty decent guy from what I'm about to do. Cat looked like she had just seen a ghost. Cat, Sean, I've got an offer you can't refuse, but only one of you can claim it. If either of you kills the other one, I'll let the one left standing go. What the fuck? I should have known he would do some shit like this. We'll forget this ever happened and call it a wrap on find love or die trying. I'll even let the survivor leave the island. I can guarantee I'm telling the truth because this is airing live to the world right now. People bow down and get in line because I tell them the truth. Because they know I keep my word. They wouldn't believe me for a second if I ever went back on it, you know? Not a bad deal, huh? Especially considering if that no one takes the offer, I'll just kill both of you. I'm giving you five minutes to decide, and then I'm coming for you. Oh shoot, the screen shut off. Cat and I look at each other, 
a mix of horror and fear on her face, and there was no doubt that mine mirrored hers. Sean, I can't imagine what's racing through your head right now. You probably think I'm going to betray you again, right? Is it wrong for me to think that? I was at a loss for words. You don't have to say anything. Look, I can't blame you for doubting me. And honestly, if you just shot me right now, I'd be okay with it. But because then you'd be free to go. I know Damien will keep his word then. But there's even a slightest chance that you want me to be able to escape from here too. Then I need to ask you something that I know sounds insane. What's that? Dot, dot, dot. I need you to give me the gun. The only real one we've got. You want me to give you this fucking gun. And I don't even trust you that you won't betray me. Like you did already. Oh no. This is why we have no words. Look, I'm not stupid enough to know how not know how that sounds. The simple reality is, I've known you for so long now, and one thing I know about you is that you're a terrible shot. <laughs> Fuck you. You know what? You're probably right, but still, you don't have to say it like that. Me? I'm as good as you can get on the island. I think our best bet I'm our best bet to taking him down. But I understand if you're not willing to trust me, if you think I'm lying, I, I get it. And if you don't trust me, she closed her eyes and pressed her finger against her forehead. Then please, just make it quick. The gun in my hands had never felt so heavy. On one hand, I guarantee that I can make it out of here alive. On the other, trusting Cat. Can I trust Cat after all she's done to me? Can I really believe her words when the memories can prove or deny them or are lost to me? I've got no time. I have to choose. Oh no, bro! I can't do this. Good thing there's no time limit, but... Kill Cat. I don't want to do it, but that's like... That's going to be like, yeah, a um, straight free roam to get out of here. Trust her, and it might just be, it might just be bad. It might just be bad. But, as we said before, we were trusting her this whole time. And she did help us getting out of there. It's just that Damien called on to us. You know what? I... Cat, I'm giving you the utmost trust. Please do not, do not disappoint me. I trust you, Cat. I held out the gun to her. Oh, no. I hope I don't, I hope I don't regret this. You... You do? After everything I've done? After everything you've done? Yes. I still trust you. I know you've been forced to do some awful, awful things to people that didn't deserve it. But I know there's good in you. I believe in all in that good. Take it. Thank you, Sean. She took the gun from my hands. I won't let you down. Well, if you do, it's not like I'd be around for long enough to regret it. Let's hope it doesn't come to that. Let's do this. Using my freaking words again. We decide to seek Damien out and try to get the drop on him, rather than waiting for him to switch. My heart was practically beating out of my chest. I couldn't tell if Kat was as nervous as I was. If she was, she hit it with the same poker face she's always had. We dashed to another wall for cover, looked around, and repeated. How much time has passed? It feels like we've been looking for him for hours with the pressure. Well, I know it can't be more than just a few minutes. As minutes passed by, I could tell Cat was growing more and more impatient. She trained her gun wherever she looked, her trigger finger ready to shoot our only bullet at any time. Left, right. I glanced around, then looked at her, and back again. Her hands were shaking. Look left, look right. We only got one shot to make or break it. Look back to Cat. She's checking around a corner ahead for us. She looks left. She looks right. It takes everything I have to stay focused. Don't even think about dying. Not even a possibility. She turns to look back at me. Oh no. Damien's walking closer and closer from behind her. With his gun resting on his shoulder. He can't be more than 10 meters away. He slowly lifts the gun off from his resting position. Before I know it, I'm running towards her with everything I have. Something is making me run. Something I've forgotten. Something I'm just starting to remember. Huh? It's the two of us at the beach. I can see it now. How many hours has it been? Well, this is a flashback. 
made it to the ship, but it wasn't enough. The arms were deafening. The security was going to be here any minute. And our only saving grace, our ship, would start. That, that's it then. I never heard Cat ever sound so desperate. At, at least we tried, right? Who else can say that? She lowered her head and leaned on me. No, we're not giving up just yet. There's nothing we could do, Sean. The engine's broken, and the guards will be here any minute. We've got at least some weapons. It's not over yet. I grabbed the previous few firearms we had and split them between us. The t there's two of us and hundreds of them. There's no point. Not to mention, you're a terrible shot. Well, she did mention that before, so... <laughs> you're right. Taking them head on would be suicide. But that's not what you'll be doing. Me? I'm not just somebody. But you? You're the big man's daughter, after all. Your word means a lot to them. Huh? She was horrified. I would be too if I were in her shoes right now. N no! I, I won't let you do this, Sean. We don't have a choice. Look around! Look, I'm not happy either, but us both dying here would be worthless. But if you live, you get a second chance to make it out of here. A second chance to see the other side. I know, but what's the point if it's not with you? You'll have to find that out yourself. They're almost here. Come on. We're running out of time. Her hands were shaking. It looked like she was going to drop her gun any minute. We planned this. That's why he was running to her. Because this whole time, he didn't remember the part where he told her to shoot him. That's why she shot us. I hate you for this, you know. I'm about to start crying, bro. I know, and I'm sorry. She slowly raised her arms and trains the gun slightly to sights directly at me and now we wait can you do me a favor what's that don't shoot me in the face don't shoot the face please I'm rather proud of it that's why she fucking shot us we told her to because we were trying to help and make the shit go smoothly as it could I, I don't know what I do about my supernaturally good looks she laughed through the tears I, I would have still loved you even without them Right back at you, cat. She kissed me for the last time. I love you, Sean. I love you too. So, like I was right before, it has been her this whole time that we were talking about the uh, freaking um, the freaking question marks. Sorry, but it's got to be the face. Wait. Let me just take off the safety. Wait, wait, wait! I didn't sign up for this. I heard my favorite sound. One last time. I can hear the guards coming now. We've only got seconds left. On the bright side, I won't owe you ten bucks. Our bet? She laughed. I think it's pretty clear who won the bet. I can see the guards now. My time is up. What makes you say... You did it. She shot me in the face. I, I'm alive? Everything hurts so bad. Almost which I wasn't. That shot must have knocked me out cold. I coughed up blood as my vision flashed in and out rapidly, too fast to tell if I had been fatally shot. It was all I could do to try to stay conscious. It's as you said, Father. Anyone who breaks our law must be punished. I could just barely make out her voice, but it brought comfort to me. You really do take after me. You made your ma old man very, very proud. Oh, will you look at that? So they said this before he, when we, oh my gosh. No, I don't need the, oh wait, no. See, the whole escaping thing, I'm afraid I'm going to have to fire you. No severance. I tried to make a witty cut. Oh, so we got fired for this whole thing. Oh, that's how we were the producer before. We got fired by him. But you're in luck. A new opportunity has just opened up, and I think he kicked me in the stomach, then rolled me over with his foot. You've been a perfect fit. This is probably the first time we ever did. First time we ever did the show. Well, no, no, it's not, because we tried to escape before. He laughed and he's crushing my palm under his foot. You might think I'm going soft on you by not killing you outright. He looked down at me and back at her. But mark my words, you'll both wish I had. Do whatever you want. I don't. I don't care about Sean anymore. 
I would like to say that I'm surprised that she said that, but I'm not. I think she, she was playing the front there. I don't know. He laughed. <laughs> I can't. But I never did like Sean much anyway. My vision's fading. His words turned to vapor as I could feel myself crumpling to nothing. The last thing I saw was her face. She was holding the river back with everything she had. Yeah, if she's holding back her tears, we knew she didn't mean when she said she don't care about me no more. Who are you going to fool with a poker face like that? Cat. Oh my gosh, I love you. Always have, always will. I'm so sorry for what I forced you to do. So this is all my fault to try to help her. Because both of us dying wouldn't have been good. That's why, I, oh okay. I'm sorry that you'll be alone now. But I hope one day you'll understand. Flashback to reality. I've almost reached Cat. I push myself to run faster and faster. Faster than I've ever ran in my whole life. Cat doesn't see him, but she sees the alarm going off in my eyes. Damien puts his gun at his daughter. He's preparing to take the shot. Cat starts to turn around, but there's no time. Damien's finger pulls back on the trigger. What am I doing? I see the world turn into slow motion. Why am I throwing my life away, throwing away my life for Cat? Those memories, they're mine, yet not at the same time. Who can say I'm the same person as before, who loved her so much? It's true though, but who can say if these memories form a completely different me compared to what I am now? There's no time for answers. Even if I've forgotten you over and over, somehow I remember you, and I know that I would do anything for you. I run past Kent and throw myself in front of her because I love her. A gunshot rings out. We're dead. We're dead. We're, we're dead, bro. We're dead. Oh my gosh. It's like my body struck by lightning instead of flame. He fires again and again. Undescribable pain ripples across my body as shot after shot rips through me. It's not like the movies where someone can stand after being shot over and over. The firing stops. I can barely hear him reloading over the sound of my body screaming in agony. My knees start to, start to buckle. I start to fall. As I fall, I can see Cat with her gun trained on Damien. There's no fear in her eyes. Her hands aren't shaking. But she's biting her lips so hard that I can see it bleeding. The last thing I see before the dark takes me is her finger pressing down on the trigger. Damien fires back. We don't know. Uh oh. Uh oh. Oh no. This ain't good. Wake up, Sean. Huh? Dot dot dot. Please, please don't die. Did she get him? Cause my aim would have been all messed up if it was me. What's happening? Am I alive? I never heard her sound so desperate. Please, just, just wake up. I can't lose you again. Not again. It took everything I had just to open my eyes and breathe. Cat was cradling me in her arms, with tears streaming down to her face. Thank God. Don't pass out again. You almost gave me a heart attack. S -s Sorry, Cat. I, I, I coughed up blood. <laughs> Save your strength. Did you get him? We did. That's great. The switch? You should be able to get it now. But you're in no shape to walk. And to be honest, I'm not in the best shape either. I looked up at her and, oh, I keep skipping. You've been shot. She laughed. Yeah, now I know what that feels like. I'm even more sorry for shooting you back then on the beach. There was nothing else you could have done, Cat. That didn't stop me from regretting it every second of these past two years. That day, I made a promise to myself. It didn't matter how many people I had had to hurt or how much I would have to hurt. I would get you off this island. And well, even if it was the last thing I did. Oh my gosh. Even though I have to see you fall in love with somebody else a hundred times. Even if I knew I meant I could never be with you again. I made a promise back then and I'll keep it even if it kills me. Slowly, Cat tried to lift me off the ground and onto her back. She screamed the coughed up blood as she tried to lift me up. Oh no. Is she strong? Stop! You're going to get yourself killed. That's exactly what I'm going to do. The next is exactly what I'm going to do. She lifted me onto her back. Took one step towards the switch. I told myself back then. She stepped forward again. Her legs were trembling. 
that if you weren't leaving this island alive, then neither would I. Another step closer. Because I love you, you know? One more step. I know you don't remember most of our time together. Her breath was getting ragged. She takes several steps, then have to pause for breath. Honestly, I'm glad you even remember bits and pieces. I'm grateful for whatever I can get. The switch is in sight. And maybe the you I fell in love with doesn't even exist anymore. We're so close to it, yet so far. But I'd like to still believe it's still you, Sean. That you're still the same Sean that I fell in love with. We're just steps away from the switch. Come on! Well, I mean, I can't, I can't say that. Come on. That I'm the one you still love. She laughed bitterly. It's just wishful thinking. I know. We're here. We made it. You just... She coughed up blood again. You need to put your hand on the scanner. Can you do that? Got it. I used the last of my strength to reach my hand forward. With every inch I drew closer to it, my vision grew darker. I pushed harder and harder with everything I had. Got it. My turn. Done. All that's left is to pull the switch. Sorry, Sean, but I'm gonna have to put you down for a second. No problem. Cat gently rested me on the ground. Fuck, I can barely stand now. She tumbled towards the switch. She managed to catch it with her hands and use it to keep herself upright. Here we go. The moment we'd all been waiting for. She pulled it with the last of her strength. And a second later, she fell to the ground by my side. The, the caf, cacophony of machinery filled the stadium. That must be the barrier opening. We did it, Sean. I'm sorry, Sean. What for? I, I don't think we're getting out of here after all. Oh, shoot. No. I, I can't even move. It's okay. We, we had a good run, you know. I guess you could say that. At least the girls will be able to get out of here. They deserve better to, to die here. Yeah, I, I love you, Sean. Always have and always will. For the last two years, I, I dreamed of us starting a new life together, somewhere far from here. But I guess life's not like the movies. Dreams don't come true. I wish we could have met in a different place, a different time. Maybe, just maybe then, Sean, we... Da, da, da. Cat? Cat! Her eyes were closed. Streams of tears ran down from both her eyes. My vision blurred even more as tears welled up in my eyes. Oh, I'm about to start crying, bro. If we could have met in a different place, a different time, I'm sure our story would have been so different. I wish we could have, Cat. I tried to move closer to her, but my body refused. It was all I could do was move my, to move my head around. I looked around in fertility for some kind of miracle that could save us both. This is too sad an ending. I looked to Cat. I looked to the heavens, which had all but abandoned us. I looked behind us, and I saw what could only be described as angels. I tried to speak, but no words came out. I must be dreaming. I must be. I... The world turned to black. Dot, dot, dot. Am I dead? I keep, if I keep asking myself that, if I keep asking myself that, it's bound to be right sooner or later. But somehow, I think there's more to come in my story. I know there's one person that I want to spend the rest of it with. Oh no! So we ain't dead, but now we gotta choose between who, who, that we actually love. Y'all, I can't with this shit. It's like, bruh. Cat. Apparently, yeah, we didn't love her this whole time. And we even set up this whole thing. She did what she had to do because I told her to. So she could stay alive. But we ended up living anyway. And these other girls we met during our time here and I don't know I don't feel like we're the same person we were before like yeah we might still have love for her but I don't think we love her oh shoot cat I'm sorry but it, I'm already xing out you don't do me too bad in the comments because I know y'all will Ali 
I took a fancy to Allie late as shit. Violet, oh my gosh. She was the one I liked the most. Tara, I mean, I didn't really see her like that, so I, I can't really pick her. Yui, she was getting close. So it has to be between Allie, Scarlet, or Violet. Because I don't know what happened with Allie. Allie seems like, I mean, she did want to help us, but she wanted to help everybody. So it's not like she took a fancy to us. Scarlet, she said she did really want us to be like outside of here but so did violet oh shoot y'all i can't bro we have to make a choice though i did say it was violet i did say it was violet but then i come to love the others too oh my gosh i want to see all these endings really i really do i said violet was the best And I don't know about everybody else, but she seemed like she doesn't have much left to go back with. We have to stick with her. We have to stick with her guns. It's you, Violet. Violet. I woke up in an unfamiliar room. Is the room shaking? I wanted to see what would happen if we picked Allie, though. I tried to get up. Ah, oh, fuck. I looked down to my body. I've been bandaged up enough to look like a mummy. But I'm alive. Welcome back, Sean. I did say you were the best, and I, I I would be wrong not to pick you after all this. I did like the others too, but I, t I kept saying you were the best, so I had to pick you. I knew you'd make it, but you had me for a second. You know me. I like to keep things interesting. It's great to see you again, Violet. Likewise, Sean. I'm not sure what I have done if I had lost you. She's lost her parents, so what else? Yeah, she lost her sister, her parents. No, she didn't lose her parents. Her parents are pieces of shit, so yeah. I've grown a tad attached, you might say. Uh, I'm sure the others want to know you're alright. A moment, please. Violet left the room, then came back a few moments later. Oh, I do get to see all y'all, though. Oh my gosh, you're okay! I'm so glad to see you alright, Sean. You really didn't make it easy to save you either. Oh, and if you find yourself craving brains or bananas, that's entirely unrelated to how I treated you. I'm just happy it works. If you had died after all we've been through, I'd kill you. How are you gonna kill me if I'm already dead? But I'm really happy that you're here for me to say that too. What I think we're trying to say is, we're just glad you're okay. You know, the resistance could use someone like you, Sean. Besides, it doesn't look like you have a real job anymore. <laughs> I have to think on that. Thanks, guys. You really stuck out your neck to save Cat and I, and I could never thank you enough. It's what you would do for us, Sean. And I did. I'd almost die for y'all. I'll die for this shit, too. We ran after you just moments after you left. That's how they were able to find us. There was no point in escaping if it wasn't with you, Sean. Yeah, I know Cat said not to, but hey, I didn't remember that at the time, so it's all good. I'm glad y'all did that, because we actually would have been dead, probably. By the way, Cat's doing well, too. She's resting in the room next door. We even managed to save the Brothers Five, too. We couldn't, I couldn't just let them be stranded, after all, after all that we've been through together. That's great news. Thanks for letting me know. We should be thanking you. None of us would have made it off the island if it wasn't for you and Cat. It's true, despite whatever you may hear Tara say. I'm just saying, I have, a pretty, I have a pretty mean right hook. It's so good to see you all, it really is too. I've got no idea what the world has for both of each of us, but whatever it has in the store, we'll face it together. You bet. I'm surprised you could say that with a straight face, but yes, I wouldn't have it any other way. I can really use you as your PR person for the resistance, Sean. You got a thing for speeches. Wait a minute. If everyone's here and Cat's next door, then who's driving a boat? Oh my gosh. Everyone looked at Terra. And that's a serious exit for Terra for the terabyte. She ran off like a cartoon character. We laughed together. It felt like it's been so long since we could just laugh. No cameras. No fear. 
just friends fooling around. Anyway, it's so good to see that you're okay. That said, team, we need to give Sean some time to rest. Once again, I'm not trying to quarantine you because we didn't use a zombie vir virus's unique prop properties to save you. Thanks, Scarlet. You probably did, though. And thank you, everybody, for coming to see me. Don't mention it. We're all in this together and all that, right? <laughs> see you later, Sean. Alright, alright, enough with the cheese. Get out of here before Sean turns... I, I mean, before Sean needs rest, yes? Yeah, I know that shit. Oh, Violet's not gonna stay? And with that, I was alone. Whew, I thought they'd never leave. Hey, Scarlet, what's up? Nothing, I, I just... She was hiding syringe behind her back. Need to give you a shot for, for good luck. Yeah, I don't think I believe that. I put my arm out forward. Well, the doctor does know best. I'm not a doctor. She injected the good luck into my arm. I just wanted to say, thanks again. I, I, my life went off rails back at the island, even before the show. That's putting it lightly. She laughed. I know if I stayed there, I never would have been truly happy for the rest of my life. I never would have been able to help people ever again. So thank you, Sean. You've been out, so there's no way you'd know, but today's the day that would have been the last day of the show, the final ceremony where you asked one of the girls to be with you. Now, I'm not saying anyone's rushing for a proposal, but I think there's somebody waiting for you up on the deck. She's a keeper, so you better treat her right. Thanks, Scarlet. I will. She kissed me on the cheek. Don't mention it. I know who's waiting for me. It's time to go see her. I reached for the door, and a second later she opened it. Hey. Hey, Sean. <laughs> this reminds me of that episode of Big Time Rush where Kendall, he had to choose between the girl he's liked for years and then the girl he just recently started to like. That's kind of the situation here, but I kind of did the opposite because Kat was the one we liked for years and then she's the one we just started to like. So it's the opposite, but it still feels like the same thing. Should you not be resting? Probably, but I won't stand for it then. Here, help me, let me help you get back into the bed. Thanks, Violet. I put my arm around her, and she walked back with me to the bed. I wanted to talk to you, though. At first, I wanted to wait till later, but I've learned some things I just cannot, that just cannot wait. Look her, oh, we had to, we had to end with her, I'm sorry. I had to see you, no matter what. Why is that? First, I, I wanted to thank you. If it weren't for you, Sean, I know I would never have left that island alive. Right back at you, Violet. You gave us hope when we all but given up. Compared to that, I didn't even do much. I could not have done it if it weren't for you supporting me this time, Sean. You've, you've helped me through so much. I'm more grateful than I could ever express. You helped me realize that there's no such thing as a guarantee. The world we live in, the things we believe, whether or not we will survive another day, they could all be taken away in an instant. I'm positive neither of us had ever planned to be on a show like this, though. I didn't think I like to think so. And if this is the way the world is, then there's nothing more important than making the most of every moment. That's all we have. It's true. She took a deep breath. Dot, dot, dot. More than anything, I want to share all those moments that come with you, Sean. Like you've been there for me, so I want to make you smile even when you want to cry. I want to make you as happy as you ask me, Sean, every day, as you make me every day. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I, I love you, Sean. Will you be mine and only mine? We wouldn't have picked you if that if we weren't looking for you to be ours. I love you too, Violet. It'd be my pleasure to be yours. Will you be mine? For always, if you'll have me. I couldn't help but smile. You beat me to asking you? I was going to find out, find you and ask you out. I suppose great minds think alike. Perhaps I'm making a little bit more of the moments than you are, no? I laughed, really. I don't know about that. I pulled Violet close and kissed her on the lips. She kissed me back passionately, as if it were our last. For a moment, time stood still. All that mattered was Violet and I. It was bliss. I'm looking forward to these moments to come with you, Sean. I couldn't be happier. You took the words right out of my mouth. Here's the moments we'll share, Violet. I love you. I, I gotta clap this up because 
that. Oh my gosh, they they did such a good job on the shit. Now what I will probably do is, I probably already did it already, but I'm I'm gonna split this thing up into two parts because I've been recording for like four hours. This shit was so freaking long. It might be even three parts. Shoot, three parts I split this up into, but I'm splitting this up. I can't put all of it in one video. I'm splitting this up. Oh my gosh, that's crazy though. That is so crazy. But yo, I, I can't. And I, I, I'm not gonna show y'all, but I gotta see what these other endings are like because I'm pretty sure with Cat, she's gonna, she's gonna be like, yeah, for. Oh crap. Wait, if we low, it's gonna be back to. Yeah, cause we never fucking, we never freaking uh, save. Yeah, there was a point where we couldn't save, so I had to keep going. We all. I'm gonna have to see what these other endings look like with the other girls, but we picked Lila because that's the one we said we like the most. We had to stick with it. I had fun. This is fun. But like I said, split this probably into two parts, three parts, however long it takes. But I'm just happy we got through it all. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure like. Oh, I can't even do the intro right now. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. I'm out. Peace.